welcome back. Um, it is absolutely freezing here today. It was literally almost in the 70s yesterday. And then the temperature has just decreased all throughout this morning. And I think outside right now it's like 29-ish, but with a wind chill of like, feels like 17. And it's going to keep dropping throughout the rest of the day and tonight. So it's really cold. So I just decided I wanted to hop on here and do a quick makeup look with you guys to um, make myself feel better. Cause I'm not going out in that cold. We're stuck in the house today. And this morning we actually had ice. <clears throat> so let's get started. Um, again, like yesterday, I'm using my VFX Pro Primer for some velvety smooth base going on and to fill in those pores. My kids are probably gonna come in here cause I forgot to lock the door, but they'll just have to deal. They're not doing well with, they're already bored. They're used to going out and playing a large part of the day after the schoolwork gets done. So, we'll just see how long it lasts with me being able to do this without them coming in. <clears throat> yes, it is 12.50 here and I'm still drinking my very cold cup of coffee. because I need all the coffee energy today. All right. So we're gonna go in with our VFX Pro foundation. And I use the shade 03. I need to start using myself tanner again, guys, because, um, yeah, lost my tan. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna have to get another foundation, but because as this winter is gonna keep going on, I'm gonna get even lighter and lighter. And let's face it, nobody likes their foundation not to match their skin and look like they stepped in a mud puddle, right? <clears throat> so, I don't know, I haven't used my, I used my self tanner for a long time last year. And I don't use anything fancy. I have found a brand at Walmart, and I really do not remember what it's called. I'd have to get it out and see. Maybe I'll do a video on my self-tanner application. What do you guys think about that? If you think so, leave a comment below and let me know. Pharmacy is my number one, but I'd also want this channel to kind of be like more than just that. So you can kind of see what our everyday lives are like. So any and all video ideas are much appreciated. Again, leave comments for those with any ideas that you may have for some content. And even if it is pharmacy related, if there's any questions you want me to do, maybe a Q and A that you send in, whatnot, just let me know. My kids are already hollering. Kids are already hollering and the dog outside is barking up a storm. So who knows what's going on with that. He usually only barks if there's somebody that he doesn't know or something out there, so. And with this weather and us living up on this mountain, there's never, I mean, you can never tell. I'm gonna have to get closer you guys so that I can use you as my mirror. And yeah, snafu from my brow still up there, y'all. Does anybody have trouble with their kids picking up their room? We moved my oldest, my 11 year old into his own room because he's the one that keeps the room clean. And his two brothers <clears throat> are almost eight and four and they trash everything y'all, like everything. So we've been working on cleaning up after themselves. And I have gotten to the point that nothing else works. So if I find it in the floor, 
and it's not picked up because I feel like they're both old enough to not have to be reminded to pick up when they're done. Then it goes straight either in the trash or in a hidden place to be given to a child that will appreciate it. What do y'all think of that? What are some of the tips and tricks that you guys do? Because yes, I stay home. Yes, I clean the majority of the time, but I'm also not raising my kids to think that I am their maid. They are going to help clean. All right, took a little longer than usual, but my skin's just so not cooperating right now. All right, now I am going to go in with my blush on blush from pharmacy. You guys see that? It's just a pretty pale pink color. Come spring and summer, I will switch my blush to a more skin tone because I have more of a tan or most of the time anymore, burn. Because hello, since I had kids, I burn first. And then I tan, but, um, so I'll have enough usually pink in my cheeks. And I really hope that you guys cannot hear that because my kids are yelling and screaming at each other, which is not unusual. And now somebody's hurt and crying, so they're gonna bust through the door right now. Hold on, sorry y'all. <laughs> Yes, I did stop it. I promise I will have my kids on here. I actually just told them if they would behave long enough and get along long enough for mom to finish her makeup video that I might do some video recording of them today. But he was pitching a hemorrhage, so that's why I paused it or cut him out of it for now. Anyway, so back to makeup. Now I'm gonna go in with my brown sugar creamy eyeshadow. And here they come again. Hold on. Okay. Creamy long lasting brown sugar. I love to put this on as a base or by itself, but when I am using powder eyeshadow too, I just love having this on as a base. I don't know why. I just love the way that it feels in my eyes, to be honest. And when I'm using it as a base, I'm not as precise as I am if I'm using it alone. So I just kind of pop it on there. I didn't need them to match though, otherwise it's not going to when I finish. <clears throat> okay, good enough, y'all. Now I am going to go in with one of our trio kits and this is the Trio Eyeshadow Kit and Sunset Kiss. That comes with three colors. So I'm going to go in first and I like to take a little bit of the lighter color and kind of dab it on my eyes for just a little bit of a base. It doesn't completely cover up that brown sugar, but you'll see how it kind of makes the darker colors pop. And y'all have about a million and one makeup brushes and none of them are from the same line. None of them match. Don't ask what kind they are. I do not know, but it is in my budget to get a set of matching ones soon. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the darker color, put a little bit on. I always start with a little bit because I can build it up if I decide that I want it darker. You know, you can't, if you have too much on to begin with, then it, it's harder to get it all to the color that you want. So I just start at the outside corner of my eye 
and build over to how far I want. Build up to how far I want. I don't generally go too, too high unless I'm doing a full on glam. <clears throat> and yes, I am kind of extra like that. And sometimes I do a full on glam for days, even that I'm just at home because I don't know, like I said, I'm extra and it makes me feel good about myself. We don't go out a whole lot, so I don't get to glam a whole lot. So I like from time to time to just glam it up at home. And I'm seriously telling y'all, like, especially for those stay at home moms, sometimes just something as simple as popping on a little bit of makeup, fixing your hair a little bit. I mean, look, y'all, I don't know if you can see. Mine's in a top knot. I mean, it's not fancy. It didn't take long. But just stuff as simple as that and getting dressed, you know, not just in sweats all the time or yoga pants, but actually putting real clothes on sometimes, even if you're not going out, makes a world of difference in your attitude and in how many things that you will end up getting accomplished throughout the day. I mean, it seriously sometimes can be an amazing thing. Okay. I feel like those are gonna be matching as good as they get. Now I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush into this gold color. And let me tell y'all, I have like this major obsession with gold colors here lately. And we're just gonna kind of blend that in with everything else. And just make it pop a little. Blend it down into this lighter and into the darker. One thing I love about our powder too, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's really not much fallout at all. I mean, once in a while, depending on if I put way too much on my brush, I'll have some fallout and I just take a big kabuki brush and, you know, do like that. But the fallout is very, very minimal. And most of the time I don't have any fallout with our powder shadows. So I think that looks pretty good. I can't, I need a little bit more gold right there, y'all. So I had a friend that I watched her video yesterday and she made a good point and I'm totally stealing this from you, Andrea. But I don't know if you watched the other video, I struggle with my eyebrows because I want them to match. And she made a comment that is perfect. Your eyebrows, and your eyes do not have to match perfect. They are not symmetrical anyway. They're to be sisters, not twins. So I'm gonna take that into account today and maybe not stress over them. Why does bad being perfect? So again, we're going in like we did the other day, yesterday with um, our brow design eyebrow mascara. Mine is in the color dark brown, if you guys can see that color. And I'm just gonna go in and get my brow. And I'm on the other side. I might need just a little bit more product on. That is one thing that I struggle with not just getting them similar in shape and placement on each side, but the same color. I swear, I feel like most of the time it's really, see? One has way darker than the other and it's quite frustrating. And if I would have left this one alone, y'all, it probably would have been fine and I wouldn't be doing this again. <laughs> okay. Anyway, they don't match. They're not twins. They're sisters. 
this one's just a totally different sister. But anyway, so then I'm gonna go back to my eyeshadow trio and I'm gonna take this lighter color and I'm just gonna take an angled brush and get a little bit on both sides and on the tip. And I'm just gonna kinda line my brow. Just to highlight it a bit. If you have highlighter, totally fine to use that. Then I also take one of these brushes and I just kind of blend it out a little bit. I don't like a super harsh brow line. I know a lot of people do. But I just want enough of the highlight in it to see but not to be super dramatic with it. And then I'll also take that same brush and that same color and I come in and I dot a little bit on the inside corners of my eyes. This helps with the darkness and then blend that out. So Sometimes I'll come down in here with it <clears throat> in line, but I'm not today. Okay. So that's that, we're almost done. Now, I'm gonna go in with my favorite star look. And I'm gonna pop my eyelashes. One thing I really love about this, y'all, is yes, I do like to use eyeliner from time to time. It's more of like an evening thing, but I don't know if you guys can tell from this video because it's not super great quality, but do you guys see how when I first put it on, I got really close to my lid and did that? It makes it look like that you've lined it, even though you haven't. My kids are fighting again. Let me know all those boy moms out there. If you have more than one boy that are pretty close in age, you'll look at the difference. Please tell me I am not alone and their kids fighting constantly. I mean, they are best friends. They really are. But I swear they're getting along and fine one minute and then knock down drag out fighting the next i just don't get it with them and i grew up with several siblings i have two brothers and a sister I mean, i would say we're all pretty close we weren't super close in age i mean some of us were but some of us weren't but i do not remember fighting like this i don't know if it's just i would say this generation but that could get us into a hole other conversation and I really don't think that that's what it is. <clears throat> so there's eyes. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know. And we don't, you know, favor one over the other. I don't know why they fight all the time, but they do. Okay. So I am going in with, again, one of my little mini Lipsticks. These come in your kit when you sign up as a beauty influencer. If you pay $19.99, you get your starter kit and it's going to come in a box like this. Super duper cute. Pretty big. You're going to get all kinds of goodies in there. You can also do, <clears throat> excuse me, add ons to add even more products. I'm going to make a post on my Instagram to so be checking it. Um, about the add-on products, but in your just plain starter kit, you're going to get this awesome thing of mini lipstick samples. This is what it looks like, and it has all these little lips, and you guys, I use these every day, at least one of them, and I have been with Pharmacy for a little over a month now, almost a month and a half probably, and I mean, you guys can see, like, there's still so much product left in there. It's, it's really quite amazing. Um, and I just love them. So anyway, I do have some full size 
on the way. But so today I am gonna go in with our intense color number 107 instigator. This is the color. So I'm gonna tell you guys, don't always go by what it looks like in a picture or on somebody else because all of this is gonna look different on your skin and your tone and things like that. But Pharmacy has a wonderful 30 day money back guarantee. So if you guys get a color of any product in that you don't like, you can return it, get a refund or exchange it. It is absolutely amazing. So here we go. We're gonna pop some of this on. Yes, Liam. Y'all hear that? He won't play tic tac toe with him. Alright. And this is definitely a color I could use some lip liner with y'all. I don't know about you guys, but I have one side of my lip. But it's totally not the same, same shape <laughs> as the other side. So one side I either have to go over or the other side I have to either go underneath it or it looks odd. So this is a beautiful red color on me. And I used to be terrified of reds, but as you guys can see, It'll get darker if you put a few more coats, but I don't know if you guys can tell, but in the tube, it's actually pretty dark and looks different on my skin, which is fine. I love it, but I used to be terrified of reds. Never wore them. I actually think the first red lip I ever put on was one of the reds out of my kit. And now I love them. Love, love, love a red lip. Love it. So there we go. That's my face for today. Thank you for joining me. I am off to corral my kids, get their homeschool done today because <laughs> even though schools around here are closed, homeschool doesn't get snow day. So they've got a lot of work to do. Um, and I've got a bunch more videos to film for you guys. Lots more content. But like I said, any ideas for content that you guys have and want to see, you are more than welcome to leave it in the comments, message me. Please check out my Instagram. Um, I will post the link down below. <clears throat> it is makeup.mama3. If you wanna just search for me on there. Um, I have a great contest going on right now um, for the next couple of days. So get in on that and any other contest ideas? content, anything, feel free to contact me. And if you have any questions about the pharmacy business or just our products, contact me with those too. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye.